Our first question for today is, is it better to be sitting on cash during a period of inflation? It's a very relevant question these days. Lee, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think you'll you'll obviously have something to say about this as well. And and while we're here, you know, we're probably we might not always have the exact same perspective. So it'll be nice to have two different um, sources of information or opinions to to go along with this. And I think we'll see that through the remainder of especially the first episode, but many to come. Um, but in my opinion, my perspective, I mean, um, sit, having cash just sitting there doing nothing is suboptimal. Let's be honest. You know, you, in my opinion, you always want your money to be working for you. You know, that's why we have things like IRAs and investment accounts. Quite frankly, if we want our money to sit in cash and do nothing, we'd just have it sit at a bank. But we all know that that's uh, not the ideal way to go about things. Um, and I'm also putting a little bit of my opinion on this question as well. Um, you know, it, it's just saying, is it better to be sitting in cash? There's nothing really to compare it to, you know, is it better to be sitting on cash than say being invested in the stock market? Or is it better to be in cash versus going and buying some real estate? So, I mean, from a black and white perspective, it, it it's a no doubter to me, you want your money to be invested. Now, especially, and I think why this is such a great question is that we're in a very unique year in 2022, where inflation, quite frankly, is some of the biggest that I know some people have seen in their lifetime, others, maybe not. Um, but the the pickle that you're in, if you will, is, you know, and I'll use the stock market example, you know, would you rather have your money sitting in cash? Or would you rather have it working for you even in this inflationary period? Um, and, and as we've seen so far this year, you know, last I checked, the market was somewhere down right around 14 or 15 percent for the year. So cash, you know, it, it's not sounding as bad as it you know, typically might. Um, would you rather be sitting in cash, having your money do nothing for you? Or would you like to have and obviously this is the, the looking back view, but would you have rather had that money working for you the whole year? and also be worth you know, a lot less than it was when you initially started. So not only are you losing out on the buying power due to inflation of your dollar, but you're also losing out, quite frankly, on you know, however many dollars you got invested, it's very likely you don't have that exact same amount um, right now where we, where we stand. Yeah, uh, no, I, I couldn't have put it better myself. The only thing that, that I would add is, and then maybe double down on, um, is that inflation, at least in America, has always been something that is working against you. And in fact, um, it's almost like the modern way that the government and the, the Fed taxes you because inflation has been rising faster and faster. I'm sure you all recognize this by now. In the past, it, post 2000, in the internet age, inflation has gone up faster than the 20 years prior to that. Um, and even 50 years prior to that, because we got off of the gold standard and that really just opened the floodgates because that allowed the Fed and, and America essentially to just start printing dollars as much as they wanted, um, which made them very uh, loose with their cash, let's, uh, government spending, let's say. Um, so inflation is always something that you're going to be battling against. But Lee has a really, really good point. This particular question doesn't really ask like, better than what like it's better it's you're always fighting against it but it's not better than losing money in the stock market right you always want to be gaining not losing so in this particular case from a trader's perspective um i'm always looking to i'm always paying attention to what the rate is kind of like and what we expect it to be and looking for opportunities to uh, grow our money faster than it or at least keep up with it if it's just too scary out there However, if that's not a skill or a conversation that um, that you're really comfortable having yet, then maybe it is, you know, it's the lesser of two evils to just lose buying power to inflation than lose, like, like some people have done, like lose 90% of their savings in crypto. Like, it's better to just stay in cash than do that, you know? So uh, it, it really kind of depends on your situation. Um, but if you're just too scared, sitting on the sidelines is okay, right? Until you're confident in the investment that you do want to make. Lee, the anything thing, else you yeah, want to add? Say, the only thing I would add to that, obviously, you and I are both 
uh, you know, associated with iFlip, um, a little bit different capacities, but, you know, we, we obviously really believe in our software and what it can do. And the nice thing about it is that you don't have to make that decision. Is it a right time to be invested in the market? Should I be sitting in cash? It does it all automatically for you. So I know I have uh, <laughs> a great deal of confidence in that and whatever the AI is doing for me, I know it's going to make a better, if not uh, it's definitely going to make better decisions than I personally would. And I, I think some of the questions uh, we have in the future here are going to lead into uh, our opinions and our emotions of investing and trading. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. So the question really is for all of you watching, how do you feel about inflation? Uh, drop down in the comments se section below and leave us a question, a follow-up question to this or a comment on how you deal with inflation. Do you like to get extra aggressive or do you like to sit on the sidelines? Let us know in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts there.